Okay, so this is an IELTS academic task one and the purpose of this video is to analyze bar charts. Um, we have a bar chart over here and um, I'll be basically explaining how to analyze this bar chart so that you can create um, an organized response. An organized response is extremely important to score well in task one. You should not rise, write randomly or in, in a chaotic manner there should be a clear structure to your answer. What the organization means is you have a clear structure to your answer. Okay, so the question is on employment rates of males and females in six countries, Australia, Switzerland, Iceland, UK, New Zealand, and the USA. And there are two years, 95 and 2005. Let me remove this, okay? So there are two years, six countries, male and female, okay? Um, so you can see there are three elements. Let me yeah. clearly see on one side we have years, another we have male, female. Let me put this in one category. And we have six countries. And the analysis should involve a combination. So... Um, you should first analyze males and females according to years and then male female according to countries okay so let me explain how well let us first talk about years um, we have two years 95 and 2005 and in these two years let me put it like this it's male female it's 95 and 2005 and you can clearly see here that from 95 to 2005 let us see for males first the employment rate has shot up for every country okay similarly for females the employment rate has shot up so that's the first observation that's the first overall observation um, you have to make let me remove this okay so um, the observation is that males in 2005 have more employment rate than males in 95 and males females in 2005 have, have a higher employment rate than females in 95 so that's the first observation and this should be put in the overall category okay um, let us come to the second observation and yeah this one looks good yeah the second one is this one males females in different countries so we have six countries and let's again draw for explanatory purposes only this is you don't have to do this in the exam but this is for explanation only okay so we have um, six countries australia switzerland iceland uk new zealand and the usa and we have males and females what do we see that the employment rate of males is higher than females in almost all countries so this is what you see the differences may be less or more but the, the, you know uh, males are more employed than female the employment rate is higher so here is what you do in this part so this is this is the first overall thing that you note this is the first overall thing that you note that males both males and females more um, the, I'm sorry the greater percentage of males and females are employed in 2005 as compared to 95 and a greater percentage of males are employed in all countries as compared to females so these are two great um, I'm sorry these are two overall observations once you're done with this um, the next point is maximum and minimum let me draw this table again in the same color so we have um, males and females it's Australia Switzerland Iceland UK New Zealand and the USA okay which country has the highest uh, percentage of male employment it is clearly Iceland so males it's the it's Iceland highest and which has the lowest percentage of males employed well uh, for 95 it is uh, I guess the United Kingdom and for 2005 
it's New Zealand and the United States okay so for here, here we will we'll make a partial um, thing it, it's the highest for UK and I'm sorry the lowest I'm sorry it's the lowest for UK and it is lowest for New Zealand and United States so this one the upper part represents uh, 95 and the lower part 2005 so this is another another observation that you have to write in your answer what about females um, let me change the color for females okay so highest um, highest was I guess in in Switzerland okay yeah in both years it was Switzerland so this is the highest in females and the lowest in females is in the female uh, is for New Zealand in um, I guess 95 and um, yeah it's Australia in 2005 so it's New Zealand and Australia okay so this is the observation that you must present in your answer the highest and the lowest having said this um, how should you structure your response well the structure should be very clear uh, first there is an overall statement I'm sorry first there is an introductory statement in which you'll talk about the number of countries years male female and contain the employ the the entire um, macro data the overall picture that should be contained within the overall state within the I'm sorry the introductory statement so first you have to write an introductory statement and then it should be followed by an overall statement and the overall statement should essentially contain two parts number one is this and number two is this just these two okay this is one this is two not that this part this part is meant for the body paragraphs okay so number one number two okay so how should you structure the body paragraphs the clear structuring that I can see is for males and females so this is your first body paragraph this is your second third and four so you should write these though these are just um, one sentences you should write them separately um, one paragraph on males just on males and one paragraph on females now remember the question always says two things it is um, you should find the main features and make comparisons well the males paragraph and the female paragraph um, will contain main features only okay so there's there's a comparison of course of different countries uh, that's also comparison but it will be primarily main features you're talking about the highest the lowest and for other countries you'll just talk about the numbers uh, the female portion will also have main features primarily the portion of making comparisons is also there but it's not predominant okay so you're just talking about highest and lowest that's the only comparison you can do uh, comparison between females and males is made uh, in this part in point number one and that is contained in the overall statement so that also contains make comparison part for me yeah. this is also included in make comparisons where relevant so you'll be making comparisons between males and females that males are uh, the, the percentage of males employed are higher for all countries as compared to females in the overall statement and that's also a comparative statement and you'll be making comparison between countries within these two paragraphs okay so this was my take on uh, this bar chart and it's it's uh, really simple to write if you understand how the content needs to be organized I hope you liked it share the video follow the channel and feel free to ask any question